John Adams with ReflectedPixel.com. Welcome to this episode. Today we're going to look at the DSLR Bot iPhone app. Works with the iPhone, works with the iPad. I think they have an Android version too. So that covers just about everybody, doesn't it? You're in luck. So let's jump over here and we'll pull this up and see what we can do with this pretty cool app. Here we are. We have the app and they give you this cord and this little infrared end thing right here. So I'm just going to set it over here kind of near the infrared trigger. And we're going to pull this app up right here. Now if you'll notice down at the bottom, it's got shoot, long exposure, time lapse, bracketing, and movie mode. It has a GPS tracking option which uses a time base, you can sync them later. So you set your time on your camera and your phone the same. And you got your normal shoot. And your two second delay. So there you go. I'm actually in bulb mode right now. Uh, you can have a shoot log and so on. So that's cool. Standard stuff. Most of that, a lot of that anyway, you can do with a normal remote except for the log. Okay, it has a long exposure mode. Now this is why I'm in bulb mode because you have to be in there. You can set your uh, hour, minute, and second how long you want this uh, shot to last. Let's just go ahead and make a two second exposure right there. We'll just hit start. So, long exposure made easy. And that's pretty simple. Okay, time lapse. I'm going to go ahead and flip this off of bulb mode. Okay, so total shots, 50,000, 500,000, you can do as many as you want. Okay, and you can put in your rapid fire, seconds, minutes, hours, days. This is how long in between shots. So if you want to do a two second delay, you can set in your total shots you want to take, it'll show you how long it's going to go. This would go for 1 minute and 40 seconds. If I put in 5,000, it would shoot uh, every 2 seconds, it would take 2 hours and 46 minutes. So just hit start, and away you go, time lapse. Okay, and of course your batteries are going to have to be set. HDR bracketing, again, you've got to set your camera to bulb mode. So, I want my first exposure to be three darker, and my final exposure to be uh, that much lighter. You can set your uh, interval. Okay, and you just hit start. And you can see the exposure times are getting longer and longer. So that's pretty awesome, especially from a guy who shoots a lot of HDR. So that's cool. Okay, and then lastly, we have movie mode. Uh, many of you know that uh, there are no remotes on the market that uh, just natively do this. And it's got a lot of handy features. And it'll just record, and then you can stop, record again. Pretty handy. So, I highly recommend this app. If you have need to do any of this stuff, buy the app, buy the little remote from them. They do have uh, DIY options to uh, do it yourself, but their uh, thing is pretty cheap. Overall, it's a pretty awesome little app. Hey, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out ReflectedPixel.com. Look through the art galleries there and get some nice pieces of art for your home. We'll talk to you later.